first person shooter created by Riot Games set to rival industry leading Overwatch and CSGO. After its announcement last year under codename Project A, the community could not wait to see if this game was the next big thing. Valorant is a character shooter, which means that the character, or in this case, the agent that the player chooses will have a large impact on the game. Riot recently invited a handful of creators to playtest Valorant's alpha build, and to put it plainly, we're impressed and we think you'll be too. I'm NoahJ456 with 100 Thieves, and this is everything you need to know about Valorant. Oh my god, I'm so much better. He's, he's weak, 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 150 health. Once you queue up and a match is found, you'll jump right into a character selection screen. Once the player locks in an agent, there is no switching and only one agent can be chosen per team. I'm sorry, but you will not be able to play a five-man brimstone comp and nuke the entire match. Each game of Valorant is broken down as follows. It's a best of 25 rounds and the first team to 13 rounds wins. You'll play 12 rounds on offense or defense and then switch sides with your opponent for another 12 rounds. A huge thing to note is that Valorant has an economy arsenal system, meaning that each round you'll need to use your credit stored and earned in the previous round to purchase your weapons from the arsenal. Each round in Valorant consists of three phases. The first phase is the preparations phase. They'll be able to move around a portion of the map, but it will be blocked by blue barriers that drop once the round starts. This is your time to buy weapons and armor, and if you don't, you'll have to fight with what you got. The second phase is the actual fight. It's one minute and 30 seconds of a fire flinging, poison breathing, dagger throwing game of chess that ends with the bombing detonated, disarmed, or the enemy team eliminated. Let's go! Give me my subs, bro! The third, albeit rather brief phase, is the six seconds after the round ends used to pick up any weapons you want to carry into the next round. Rinse and repeat 11 more times, switch sides, and do it all over again until a winner is crowned. This is how a game of Valorant works in a nutshell. Now that you know the overview of the game, let's talk about the economy. The economy in Valorant will be very important to track as the game progresses for both your team and the enemy's team. Let's take a look at the buy menu. As you can see, the prices range from 200 credits to a whopping 4,500. Another very important part of Valorant is the need to purchase agent abilities. The same way you purchase smoke grenades and Molotovs in CSGO, you'll be purchasing spy cameras and crystal walls in Valorant. While two of the agent's abilities are purchasable, the other two will not be. At the start of every round, an agent has access to their signature ability, though they regenerate differently. For example, Jed is able to dash in a certain direction for her signature ability, and this only refreshes in the next round or if she gets two kills in the single round. Other characters such as Sage have their signature ability on cooldown, so Sage will have to wait 35 seconds to heal again no matter how many eliminations she stacks up. For an agent's ultimate ability, you'll have to receive six ultimate points. There are a few different ways to receive these points. Get kills. It's one ult point per kill. The second method is to plant or defuse the spike. And the third is ult spheres. There are two ult spheres on the map, and if you approach and hold down the active button, you'll receive an ult point after a short channel. Now let's see the economy in action. In the first round of the game, you'll receive 800 credits, enough for any sidearm. As you can see, this omen purchased the ghost pistol and one of his C and Q abilities. After a spike plant, three eliminations in a round win, it's time for the next buy phase. If you check in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see that Omen earned 300 for his team planting the spike, 200 per kill for a total of 600, and 3,000 for a round winning, raking in the total of 3,900 credits in the first round. Not bad. If you push tab at the start of the round, you can see both teams' economies. If someone needs a weapon because their funds are low, they can right click to request it and you can buy it right to their inventory. Don't worry if one of your teammates buys before the calls to save. As long as the prep phase is still going, you can right click a weapon to sell it right back. For the Alpha, Valorant players had access to two different maps, each with their own twist on gameplay. The first map was Haven. Haven flips the standard two-site gameplay on its head by adding a C site. The next map is Bind. You won't find three different sites on this map, but you will find a new take on rotations, one-way teleporters. Located in the far left and upper mid of the map, this allows the defense to become the aggressors when the offense least expects it. Guns have a set recoil pattern with minimum variety spray to spray and clicking heads is still the best way to win a duel. This game does have bullet penetration. If you shoot the object or wall and you can see a bullet hole, it can be shot through. If there isn't a bullet hole, it can. With all that information out of the way, you're ready for your first game of Valorant. Nice job. Good work, good work. If you're knowledgeable with the game mechanics, but your gameplay could use a little bit more work, then look no farther than the range. The range is accessible through practice mode and is sort of like a training theme park. The main area is an advanced aim training exercise that allows you to shoot bots and increase your reaction time. It has a variety of difficulties to choose from, including a hard mode, but I'm convinced that is only made for Shroud. Outside of the aim training space, there's a side area used to test spray patterns and weapon damage. With the ability to track spray patterns from up to 50 meters away, as well as the damage from each and every gun, it seems that Valorant is really looking to give everyone the upfront info and see how far players excel. Two more portions of the range include a bomb defusal section and a bomb planting section. That's it for the range, though if you want an insanely hard challenge, the devs did sneak in a parkour course that if you aren't cheating using Jet will prove to be incredibly difficult. However, it has an adorable little prize at the end.
Let's take a look at Valorant's client. This is the client we were given to test the game, but mind you that this is the alpha build. If you look at the top, you can see a few different tabs. Once you click on the collection tab, you'll be viewing your entire arsenal of guns that Valorant has to offer. From the arsenal tab, you can see on your left that you have your own choice of player cards, which are similar to Call of Duty's calling card system. On top of the images, you can also select your player title, though the favorite so far has to be the toxic title. Below is where you can switch your sprays around. Currently, there's no spray rail, but for the time being, you can delegate sprays between pre-round, mid-round, and post-round. There's absolutely nothing like spraying your opponent with assault emote after killing him to add a little extra to the wound. When you click on a gun, you can set up a cosmetic skin as well as a buddy, also known as charms. Right next to the arsenal tab, you'll see the agent tab. From here, you can see every agent and what each of their abilities do. This new feature is all about character progression. Each agent has the ability to be activated. When activated, each game you play accrues XP for that agent and that agent alone. All the XP you earn unlocks different tiers. Tiers 1 through 4 of the contract usually unlocks the calling card and titles, and tier 5 is when the agent is actually unlocked. From tier 6 through 10, there are normally animated sprays, gun buddies, and a custom gun skin for that agent's weapon of choice. Tiers 6 through 10 are located in the Chapter 2 tab, which seems to indicate we can expect a lot more of agent progression over time. The play tab, as I suggest, is actually how you get into the games. You'll see your friends listed on the right-hand side of the screen and the scores of the games they are in. While we didn't get a chance to go over ranked play in the alpha, we did see a sneak peek at the tiers. As of right now, instead of League of Legends Iron, Bronze, Silver, etc., it's Mercenary, Soldier, Veteran, Hero, Legend, and Mythic, and at the very top, Immortal. Next, let's quickly go over the store. If you look at the top right-hand corner, you can see there are two different types of currency. The currency on the left is the premium currency, similar to RP, while the currency on the right can either be purchased or earned in-game. At the moment, all of the currency is used for cosmetic gun skins that provide no competitive advantage. When you launch the store, you'll see a featured collection available to all players. However, if you look below it at the offer sections of the store, that is randomized exclusively for you. Some of the potential unlocks for these are different colored tracer bullets, a new colorful scope, or enemy death animations on the final kill and around. This is all we know about the shop at the moment, but something tells me there will definitely be more customization added in over time. That's about it when it comes down to what we've learned about Valorant so far, but one thing we want to hit on is how the experience actually felt. Riot has spoken publicly about how this is a multi-year investment and creating a new age tactical shooter is something they have immense passion behind. One of the main ways to get to the heart of this genre's established player base was the promise of 128 tick servers. We can tell you from a weekend of playing that the hit registration felt extremely smooth and all the gunfights were lag free. All in all, Valorant has traded detailed realism for a colorful and focused game design that rewards strategic aim sense and impeccable aim. While the game did get a bit chaotic with the use of agent abilities, none of them seemed too broken to the point of concern. I had a ton of fun playing the past alpha and I'm looking forward to the upcoming closed beta. And most importantly, if you like what we're doing here at 100 Thieves, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. It helps us out a lot. We win those, we win those. This evening, Aver Esports will be playing ECPI University for our homecoming at home. This season, Avert is 1-1 one and, one, and our opponent, ECPI, is 0-2. All right, tonight's match is best of three games, first to 13 rounds each game. Our team's lineup, our team captain is Panda Punchers, uh, our other players, Scruffy, Ruffy, Tezzy, Didasco, and Balake. Revealing area. One Last enemy remaining. Spike planted. We got some, some technical difficulties. Yep, we got it all worked out now. All right, we're starting at round two. What's their econ look like? Pretty decent for a for a first round one. Need a drop, thanks. Damn, Ollie's already out here buying a marshal. This is a nice spot. Forever. Jackson rotating back to A. To catwalk. Finish. 
this is my first time commentating with you. Why you introduce yourself? That's so right. My name is uh, my name is Josh Grimshaw. It's my first time commentating, and uh, my name is Theodore. It's my second time commentating. Keep up. From last time about my nuts. Long. Because you're looking down mid. See if you can't get that flick maybe once that smoke disappears. See, and Tezzy, he plays with the op, correct? Yeah, he, he's a he's our opper. He's pretty, yep. he's really good. Yep. For those who don't know, the op is a uh, one-shot sniper. Smoking them off mid, so they, you know, you can't get that outbound sight. Kills. They're working it. So, that's like a kill box right 30 there. seconds yeah, left. Rounds coming, you got nowhere to go. Yep, smart play. And Blake with that last kill. Another great round. And again, for those who don't know, in this game, you have a certain amount of money. You have to purchase your weapons at the start of each round. If you die. Decent for like a save or like a half life. Aerith on top definitely dominant with that econ game. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they're gonna have a hard time coming back. Starting, starting 0 and 3. Revealing area. Definitely gonna leave ECPI. So we go. Chuck Duck. Gets two people out. Chuck Duck. Flash out. Plant down. Yep. And if one sees what's happening, he's gonna rotate. Yeah, Jackson needs to rotate as well. Spike planted. I guess that plant man, I mean, all they gotta do is defend 3v3. Three, three. Finding! Jackson, Standing. Thrifty. Maybe if I went to another round, I'd probably get out of the recon. Deficit right now, he was kind of dominant. Here. With some beat, uh, pretty average. Looks like uh, Avert's gonna be saving or half buying. Boy gets caught up right at the pushed out a little bit too far. Panda punch is saying. Pushing through mid to mid market. Thirty seconds left. Oh, he saw him. Yeah, he 
to get that plant down. Spike planted. One last enemy player remaining. standing. Oh, this is unlucky. Someone out of the recon lady mail for this top three dudes. Dragon, frame pretty high, somewhat. Leave it struggling along. Snuff them out. Cover going out. One enemy remaining. 1v3, so we can't make them work just with. Yeah, you heard it. Oh, man. Wow, that's unfortunate. Looks like they tried to go a little bit more aggressive after they had the lead, but it's not working out. Catching up with them. 3-3 three, tied. Three, you play any games soon over this? Uh, I did not. How long have you been playing Valorant? Um, I actually just started probably this month just to learn it. Just, just to learn it? Yeah. Get football. out of my way! Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. It's a really complex game. Very yeah, how about you? Started playing it right when I got here. Okay. That's awesome. How do you like it? Gotta watch out for a lot of stuff. Cross air placement, econ rating, make sure your body shields every round. Yeah, for sure. You can see it in the way they're playing. Was that what a tree? And he's slow walking, pushing A. Out of charges! You should run! Get out of my Run. way! Joke's over! You're dead! Great play. That's, that great play. That's sober. Uh, it's hard to get away from. I mean, you get caught up in box and you just can't get out of that. Is that right? Yeah. Painful. 30 yeah, seconds left. Uh, One enemy remaining. Feeling area. 3v1, see if they can't get out of And they got they it. They got it. That's a great play. Pushing right through mid to B, see if they can't take mid marker right to B. B Oof, that Phoenix flash is too late. Oh, that was close. Very. It's gonna leave it as a 2v3. Both far. Phoenix has. Now, Cypher does have his ult, which allows him to see Spike planted. where all the enemies are on the map, but that's some, I don't know if he should use that here or not. Okay. If he does place it, that will give him the advantage. The revealing that, area. That gets people up to me pretty, pretty good info. Oh. Ooh, Shoot, that through was the, through the great storm. shot there. Pretty good. He does a 2v2 with the spike planted. One enemy remaining. Yep. And they got Ooh, it. Oh, this is going to be picture perfect. Close. Oh, they got it. Great round. That's 
close as hell. That's too close. Uh, but that did set ECPI back a lot. Look at that. Yeah, they're gonna save, have to save and fall full by. Some oh, they're still for each other. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like they're going for the half by. Avery can continue with a full by. It's gonna give them a great advantage and allow them to continue on with their wins. They get caught by that, then everybody can start rotating back over to A. Looks like they're pushing back off of A. Popping off right through that uh, catwalk. That leads up to. Cage trigger. Let's go! Ooh, that all who disorients every time. Oh, One enemy remaining. Oh, because he got the bomb. Forever! Oh, great play. Great play. Great use of abilities. I'll do that all. I don't know if they would have won that round with that all, especially with that bomb was placed. They could watch that thing from tree. That all, man, I got everybody off the site, and I believe it's called that bomb from being planted. Yeah. Yeah, one thing I really noticed with this game is abilities will really set you above the other team if you know how to use if them. If you know how to use your abilities, you can play at... You, there are pro-level shots you do when using your abilities. I know that Breach has some uh, site retake flashes where you can shoot up into, like, the top corner, flashes the whole site, and you can retake that site. And it breaches, breaches abilities, so, uh... Wow, that was fast. That was... I didn't even have time to switch between each player. It's incredible. It's a great round for Avery. Pretty good. It's gonna leave Avery's economy. Avery's really well. Pretty high. Oh, there. Yeah, ECPI is definitely struggling. Sponsors tonight. Why don't you yeah, we'll let us know what one of them is, and I'll we'll plug them in as we go. Let's plug our shadows. You can pay them through B. Ooh, they're all on that site now. Jerks are over. You're dead. dead. Uh, I don't even know who this guy is. Spike planted. Oh, they're all Spike planted. It's a good play by Jet. That Phoenix salt too, you might not, you know, people might sleep on that Phoenix salt. all oh, that was a bad one, but that gave them valuable information knowing that two are coming from CT. Mm -hmm. See, in Phoenix, he has, like, a yeah. second life. Yeah, it's instead of, like, a 6v6, uh, a 5v5. One player abandoned. Spike planted. So, 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 so,
fight. Switching sides. So what does this dart do? Um, the silver dart, uh, you can set it to rebound two times or one time, so it bounces off walls. But uh, when it sticks and lands, it gives you a, uh, a proximity of where, like, looks like a sonar. So okay. it can only what the dart can see. So like, if you're revealing area next to you, but you're hiding behind a wall, it won't pick you up. You have okay. to be able to see the silver dart. So you can hide from it, but it's also some kind of there. Pushing on a pretty heavy. that bathroom. One enemy remaining. Good pick. Oh, get three round. round. Yeah, taking the higher ground to play good play. They switch. We're attacking. Oh, we're attacking. <laughs> this is very cool. <laughs> Very good play by UCPI. Yeah, UCPI did have a good play there. Tired out. The UCPI show the same place you can get that dart out. If that gets out, it's going to pick all of them up. See, it doesn't it doesn't pick them up. If they were in if they were in that catwalk. I would have seen directly below them and they all would have been seen. Okay. So now would be a good time to move and once that dart's gone, nobody's here, then you push in. But keep in mind I believe he does have two. Pushing through mid to uh, mid market, see if they can't take uh, control of the site B straight through mid and B side. Cut them off, keep them in their CT on A. Thirty seconds left. Spike planted. One Bodies mid, see if they can't get some picks. Revealing area. I know they're mid now. That recon dart was. Chuck that.
yourself. Flashing straight through mid market. <laughs> Nearly gets hit by the destroying molly. Thirty seconds left. Try something different. Hey, it's pretty good, but I'm gonna go with the save to, to get more econ next round. It's a smart you should, play. Yeah, you should probably go with the, the Odin. Oh, I've seen the Odin now quite some time. It's become more of like a, a cheese gun. Why do why I need accuracy when I have 100 rounds? Exactly. Let's see, is that one increasing rate of fire as it's shooting? Yep. So it's like a minute. Remanding. He's got to make a move. One, he's got time. One minute left. Shadows traveling. Going to get bomb. Pick up that I have the spike. Be good. Now, if ECPion knows where he knows where that bomb is, they're going to immediately know. Hey, this man's in mid market. Yep. Can't shift walk to A. Three bodies on two bodies on A, including that killjoy turret. Does some nasty damage if you don't if you don't take care of it. Thirty Let's seconds see. left. We'll almost get some. He's, he's kill box and they know where he is. No charges. Pushing right through there, right behind. Ten seconds left. Cover going out. To be a save here. That save, 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 save. save. No worries, he's right in that corner. Yep. Well, that round we're just trying to get some, some money back so they could buy better next that round. Way. It's definitely a smart play to hold off there. What type of game is he for? Oh, Rainbow Six. Rainbow my primary six. game. That's a yep. pretty tasty game. It's a great game. Similar to this game, where there's a lot of abilities mixed in with your reaction. How about you? Siege, COD, Valorant, Squad. Squad's a good game. Oh yeah? Very good. Cover going out! Dealing area. Yeah, but those DC guys were playing too deep. Off your feet!
Spike planted. Take flight. Where is everyone hiding? Player standing. Oh, great play. Last player is going to be in heaven. No charges left. So unfortunate. Uh, yeah, that's one tough thing about this game. If you're too close to the bomb at the end of the round, you lose everything. Right here. It's like ECPI is moving. Oh, four. Revealing uh, area. Expecting another push. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's some serious damage. They know that they're going A, so they're rotating over. They're staying back. Spotted that player in heaven with the AW. Uh, Where's Bomb? Going right to be there making noise on A. See, they're pushing right through mid. Charging up that flash. Spike planted. Be full, but they got that spike down to right on B. Maybe if they decided that so in the Odin, man, that Odin should shredder. Revealing area. Off your feet! Get out of my way! They gotta shut that door too. Spike planted. No charges. One player remaining. Match point. I'm gonna leave my match point, yo. Still plenty of time to come back. Alright, I'm gonna match time to come back. I'm gonna second game and go to a third. Looks like Avery's gonna be able to get a full buy. Looks like both are gonna have full buys. Yeah, but that's the problem. The problem is. Cards out! We get Avery's econ. Yeah. It's not enough for a second full buy if they win this round. Yep. That might. That's game in the bottom of the barrel, but look at ECPI if they win this yep. next round. Back up, back up to 9 and 8k. You're getting idiot. Straight through the top. No run! Who run? They know exactly where they are. That's so low. So low. Spike planted. 
planted. Oh, good, good kill. Yeah, good cover. Yeah, that, uh, that Phoenix Flash is pretty scary to get caught by. Cage trigger. Right there. You should run. for both teams. We're back here. Second match. Map is Bind. One of our better maps that we know how to play incredibly defensively. But it seems like we are attacking. So, we'll see how that goes now. I'm going to push right into B. Right through B. Just by that teleport to see if they can't go straight through Luka. All he knows some really good uh, sober dart arrows on this map. So they see, can't, see if they can't get any good uh, visibility yeah. right in the site. But yeah. We'll see how it works. Yeah, I was watching them practice. You guys do a lot of work with figuring out placements. And oh, it's crazy. This guy knows. They're beating Eddie. One enemy remaining. And they got him. Great round. Great way to start out. Avers definitely got those pistol rounds figured out. Yeah. Like ECPI staying with a standard pistol. Yeah, they're 
gonna work to go full buy next round. And 3D to a A to hold A with 2 people. Blinding! Flash out! That Phoenix, Phoenix bar stops him. Planted. Dangerous, especially if you're not looking for it. One enemy remaining. Great kill. Get that last person's sight. You don't have to die here. Oh. 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 Attack on chasing right down back to the Another great attack, attack round. Defender spawn. Again, yeah, Ava really has those pistol rounds figuring out. It's gonna give him a great advantage going on. Yeah, that you see Jack Tommy tipping down, just barely scratching by to get those buys. Ava looking pretty good to the up. Strategy here. Put pressure on the left side. Yeah, if they do the third time, five six, 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 I'll be four stacking. So just, they're already moving back. Joke's so over! Really You're good. dead! Planted. Going up. Phoenix wall. can shoot the Phoenix wall, so if you're on the side of the side of the side of the barrier, but let's see if they can't hold this side for just a little bit longer. Let that bomb go. We did a 2v2, Tezzy's weak. All their guys are one shot. One player remaining. Last player standing. One enemy remaining. Great round. Favorite definitely coming out strong in this game. Both of their uh, the jets have their all, so I mean, it's pretty. It's a very, very quick character if you don't. If you don't get eyes on it very quick. You can be right on the Like ECPI is gonna. Around, try to save up. Very much. Strategy for One player remaining. Just get taken out quick. Ooh, wow, I didn't even know they were on there. It's like, if they're heavy mid, all their bodies are heavy mid. If they can't push out, catch them right before they get to C or B. It's a great play. This is one of our best bands. We can keep on keep the same energy going on. Taking that bomb to A this time since so they can't switch up the flow. Maybe EC5 is expecting it. What makes it a best map for you guys? Is it what you practice on the most or what plays best for your play practice. style? Uh, both. We practice on both. the most. You know, really good. We take flashes for Brimstone, or not Brimstone, for Breach. Uh, we know really good. Uh, so the doors, it's just a good all good map. Good strategy, especially if you play with like a sage in her wall, you can play on the corner of, of sites and just dip back right in a bathroom or a or a shore. It's just an all around a good map to not. Sounds like you guys have a lot of good strategy. Was that important? Have 
still having a clear lead this game. That is what happened last game. We did get a good lead, that was just a slump of three, three, four rounds that brought that game really close. That was close to collateral. Off your feet! Careful now. Might be picked off in heaven. See if they can't push on the site further. Uh, uh. Time to reconsider pushing back, going A, maybe fake planning A, going B again. Doing something that seems exactly what they're doing. We're watching the way they're dead. They do have time, they got 50 seconds, so gotta keep it cautious. Gonna plant yeah. right on that corner. Second like like one. Nowhere to run! Oh. One enemy remaining. Oh man. That's yeah, unlucky. Got getting caught up in that solo, so well, it's pretty dangerous. 30 a seconds damage, left. A lot of a lot of damage very quickly. What a room to run. I have the spike. Pick up that bomb. Know exactly where he is. No. Right with Man. the disorient. That's where they get him. Can't see him, doesn't know. They know exactly where he is. Let's see. No, Gabriel's gonna go for. Uh, they can probably pull by. Once they fall by, you see truly where they're at. Pretty low. They can pull up maybe another, another round win, get out of the swamp. Then you can set them up for a good, good next round to come. They can see guys going with double ops. Ooh. He's holding the right. Joke's over! You're dead! Popping his ult, that's a second one. Gets that kill. Now it's a 4v, 4v call. Pretty good. That's a great example. Careful now! Phoenix's ult ability there, using that. Very good. Second wave. Good turn the tide. Spike planted! Still have your other one. That's very good. Yep, Tezzy got that planted. They got yeah, their full speed. Crosshair placement is great there, just know when your rounds are gonna go. Charges. One enemy remaining. Oh God, it's great blood. Get that off. That's exactly what he did. Blood didn't even have to buy for the money. They tell you what he wanted for the money. No, no currency exchange. Yeah, smart. See if they can't push mid to Buka. Triple stacking beef sides. It's gonna be a tough one. Grabbing that orb exactly where he is. Careful now! C5 is gonna rotate. Get Get out of my way! Got the op. He's got the line. Keep it his pace. Second so push him right around the CT. He coming. I think he knows where he is. Ha! 
out in sight. Thirty seconds left. That's tough. Smoke drop, they saw him. Looks like both teams are gonna be eligible for a full buy. Should be a good round. They're just still holding the lead. Five to three. Deep breath. Strategy, but we got a couple more rounds before that. So, I mean, same plan. Go B. Still doing the same triple stacking. Gonna take a slow shift block. Shot that drone, but no, they're going B now. They're gonna have to make a break. All of you to go be right over there. I think it's playing with that and just hoping to catch the guy in the same. Okay, so the drone going out. Blocking sight! Getting bodies on. One enemy remaining. Thirty seconds left. No one to intelligence. Round favorite. Yeah, that drone definitely gave their position away right there at mid. Yeah. Definitely left them in a pinch. amount of bodies on B, I think they gotta switch it up and go A. That breach is gonna do a, a sight flash or a location reveal by that silver dart. thing with bind is it's such a map that we're if you know where they're coming from if you know what site they're attacking there can only be two ways that they get on that site make it i'll make it three you can go from joke's them. over you're dead be long, be long, be long. So, i mean it's you, they only have two revealing area Planted. Yeah, that's that uh, definitely heavier ability usage. They're starting out this round really good, setting up another five each. Cover going now. Spike planted. Looking on CT, holding sight. One 
Last round in the hash. They're definitely defender bias. I see what you're saying. This map is very defender bias. Just playing, playing ace fight and making sense for all. Ace short. Uh, bathrooms. They could come from CT corner, the corner CT right where uh, defender spawns. But I mean, it's very. It's just ability usage. And also, attacking is more harder. Yeah. Well, that's just that's just that just could naturally just come with the game. That's always gonna be. Good. Get off your feet! Going up. Get out of my way. So. Coke's over. You're dead. Switching sides. Yep. That's a good win. Switching sides now. Um, hopefully we can still have a uh, good defensive play. They start out well with the pistols. Yeah, Typically, they, they've shown to do well with the pistols. They switch over to B site. It looks like ECPI is stacking heavy B site. Same plan they ever did, pushing right through Luka, Luka Heaven, and going to B site. Careful now! Dangerous. Who goes down? Yep, looks like they're pushing Luka pretty yeah, hard. Yeah, they know they're there. They got a real stage. Average rotating pretty hard. They're all on oh, Embarrassing! Oh, they're punching. Very good headshot. Huh. Right. Gonna flash. Right. Oh, oh man. That ammo is tough. Ooh, disorienting. Spike planted. Get that plant, man, but they got to play time, man. One oh, LA remaining. Oh, Leave it at 1v2, they got the... Ooh, flash right by Phoenix. Still 1v3, it's gonna be tough. 
on that shorty to that normal pistol. So 3v1. <laughs> that fool blinds himself and flashes his way into the side. Careful now! Yep, he's gonna save. Smart save. Very. Let me show you how the boss does it. Cover going out. Some people want to say that. Yeah, Avery Esports definitely underrated. A lot of people come by, see what's going on. Remaining. Spike planted. Gun here. I think it's a uh, sponsor time. So uh, during this buy phase, uh, who we got going on? Let's see, our final sponsor for tonight is JC Tables. JC Pong tables are guaranteed up to 14 snaggle twos. What's a, what's a snaggle tooth? Uh, I'm not sure. Sure. I think that's, I think that's left up to be interpreted by uh, <laughs> whoever's purchasing. Alright man, that's on you. Hey, I'm just, I'm just reading our sponsors tonight. Let's get back into this game, I don't like that. <laughs> that pong table. Pretty good econ. Well, it's a pretty good econ. Yeah, yeah. But it looks like they're half buying. Spike planted. Paper yeah. trying to rotate. Revealing area. Rounds going right in. Yep. Here. I have retrieved the spike. Caught one. Spike planted. Put some down. 
down. Yep. See if they can't do the same thing again. Three stacking A. We'll favor it. Three stacking A. Yeah, smoking that that link, that uh, B shore right there, that that link. Our omen smoking that right back out. I mean, bombs going right to B. I think they're making noise A. Then switch to B. Yeah, you can see him holding off there. Because he's got good sight line right down into B line. Or B short, but he's got to be quick with that. Looks like ECPI is still holding. Yeah, they could play time, draw all of Avery players out, then hit TP right to B, and that's a that's, that's a thrifty one. I think they're playing time at this point. Yeah, both teams definitely holding. Thirty seconds left. One enemy remaining. Last player standing. That's Flake, man. Last player standing. He's gonna get. Oh, unlucky didn't see him. Cage trigger. Watching hookah. It's gonna be quick. She can't get a kill or two. They see their yeah, head immediately. It. They know. Oh, it's they just stay over there. Oh, does some good. Avery needs to rotate immediately. Chuck duck. Spike planted. Chuck duck. One enemy remaining. Standing. Aaron brought him down to a 4v1. All of those abilities. Not a great round. That's the thing. When you have the advantage, you, you fail. Now sleep. That might get you dead. Yep. I mean, that's just a waste of life right there. You don't get the econ that you need. I mean, they put your team at a very bad distance. Avery's gonna tie it up 10-10. Really close game. Very close. So we're in that econ just back up enough to compete on par with these if you uh, Looking very split down the middle, see if they can't make some noise, eh? Something like that. 
like that, take that bomb B, but it's a very split. So I take the for picks. Cover going out. not aware that he's got two people to his left. Uh, oh, ooh, great shot. Bomb is right there. Great shot. Very good shot. That just throws the whole, all their plan off. Yeah, it's going to fall I mean. back. Looks like they're pushing, these two guys pushing A. Get out of my yeah, way! They did pick up bomb. I don't think he knew that two people were there. <laughs> One enemy remaining. Landing right on the right on. Flash out. And they got him. Yep. Let's see with the defuse. Great rounds. So put Aver in the lead. 11-10. I think that was just fair. If you hadn't, if you hadn't seen him do that, would have been yep. very tough. That was great. That would have been a dream play, but, <laughs> but I mean, hey, you get what you get. It's a win, that's all that matters. BCP is kind of very well uh, scratched by all these buys. Hey, we're getting Ted's with that off is going to be very important. Let's see if we can't get control of heaven. He's holding bathroom. Yeah, it's a walking bathroom. They know they're gonna be coming. Spike planted. Joke's over! You're dead! Player remanding. Right. Uh, that vandal's a dangerous one. One shot has on Yep. 4v1s are tough to win like that. Especially after Phoenix using his ability like that, they knew he had to be close by. Oh, this is a nice spot. Tough round. Match point. Oh, it's like match point. This could be the end. Of a nice event. Could be. If they get this last round. If they can't 
spend this last run with their lives kind of just kind of going for the same strategy hard push a avery has got to get those two dudes off of the as fast as possible Found them. that last round where through those two games what'd you see did you see anything oh i mean it was close the Very whole time whole, every round there weren't there weren't too many easy wins for either team both teams had to work really really hard Very. i mean i think it to me simple stuff recoil control knowing where those rounds are going i mean but i mean yep. hey yeah it's, it's a good game it's what it is very good game All right, thank you all for watching. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for coming out. If you guys want to watch any more esports events, you know where to find us in the mail room. Play on Wednesdays, 8 p.m. Typically, yep. Typically, 8 p.m. Come out, watch a few games, watch me and this little cast. <laughs> or it will be Marshall or maybe the three of us. I don't even know. Yep. But we'll figure it out. Especially, ooh, come out for the Siege team, Siege events too as well. Yeah, we'll be Siege. getting that roll on as well. Siege is going to be really intense. Very good. Well, we thank you guys for coming out. Peace.